today we are weaving a beautiful wall hanging. Um, this particular weaving was started as a community weaving where lots of people came together and um, each person may have taken a different piece of yarn, or wool, or fabric. So down here shows that. And so it's been built up little by little. And now we are continuing it here. This is Milo right here. And he's weaving, you know, right now his stitch is a regular over under over under pattern. And I can show you that a little more closely. He's just pulling it through over under. And you could build up an entire weaving in just that way. Um, and that's basically how clothes are made. So this area here was made with linen, this gray area. And um, that's gray blue. And so that's basically how fabric is made. And we made this loom at home with a basic coat rack and you can too. So we just warped the loom, which is the vertical threads out of the warp here. We warped the loom or the coat rack and then tied the string across and that made them flat. So they weren't like forward and back like they are here. And once they're flat, and you do the same on the bottom, once they're flat, you can just start weaving. And you can do different types of weaves, different kinds of knots. And <clears throat> I'm gonna show you one right now. So he's pulling through as far as he can go. I'll go ahead and pull a little more. He was leaving a little bit of tail on this piece. Push it all down. Now he's pushing it down and then he's going to go back the other way. And this little tail can just get tucked or just kind of woven in. And I'm going to add a little bit in that looks like this. And this, let's see, goes out of that section. here are made with Ria knots they're called and I'll show you how to do that right here so I'm taking a piece of roving it's wool and I dyed it with apricot it makes this beautiful peachy color it's apricot pits and skins I get myself a nice piece and pull it off. You go over here for a sec. You go, yeah, you go. And I get myself a piece like around that long, three or four inches, or six or seven inches. I pull it all the way through. Okay, yeah. Oops, look. It was. It's gonna pull. That's okay. That's perfect. Missed one, but that's okay. Keep going. It's perfect. Because what I'll do is beat this knot over here where people can see. So just give me one second, Milo. I'm going to do some right here. I think you can see. And you just go with the piece in front of two and then let these two little tails come through like that. And it makes this little knot. And you can do that with string or thread. I'm gonna show you if I take a little piece of, a couple of these, I could do the same. So you take the whole piece, put it right in front of two strings and pull the tail pieces through the middle so it makes this little shape and then pull that down. You want to try that? Yeah. Okay, so 
You can either go onto these two or the next two. That's it. Perfect. It's that easy. You can fill this one too. Try that. Put it between. Yeah, exactly. Want more of those? Yeah. And this is such a fun thing to do. You can actually weave a rug. Cut, cut out. Here, cut, cut that. Now just leave that. I'll weave it back in. Mama, could you go in the same one two yeah. times? Yep. That looks so good. So we just leave this in our living room. And while we're, <clears throat> we're relaxing, or, or even when people are over, everyone kind of participates, and it's really fun. So that's a little simple DIY loom you can make at home, and you can make a big rug or wall, wall hanging that's gorgeous. And there are lots of different knots you can look up, so these are just some basics that I'm showing you. Mostly it's about having fun. Hey, bye, Milo. Bye.